What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. Uh, my question was, what do you rate yourself out of 10? And you're talking about... But I told you 20. I told you yeah, that. And that's it. 10? You tried to put me at 10. Who I are never, you? Who are you to put me at 10? It's just a regular I'm a 20, question. Bro. I'm a 20. No man can come tell me what am I bringing to the table. Do you feel that you're... You're bringing nothing to the table. <laughs> How about that? 20. I'm a, not Phil, I know. Bro. How do you know that? I know I'm a 20 because there's no man, unless you're a billionaire, there's no man that can come tell me my value. There's no man on this earth. That's what's so funny to me is that women think the rating system is how you feel about yourself when in reality it's how men feel about you. So if another man calls you a six, you're a six. A billionaire is the only one that can tell you, so money's the only thing that matters? Like, come on, bro. Not even Iron Man. Yeah. Not even Iron Man. Not even Black, Black Panther no. can come wow. tell me oh, no. my value. With that attitude, she's a number negative 20 in my... Uh, is she single? Golly, I bet guys are flocking for her. Bonjour, madame. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez? C'est pour une... Ouais. Bonne... Bonne... Ah bon Donc euh, comme vous me connaissez, vous adorez ma moto. Mmh, je sais pas si on se connaît. Hein. Je sais pas où vous l'avez acheté, vous l'avez pas acheté en haut de sa boîte. Ok, allez, moi je m'en vais et je vais me faire séquestrer. Allez, adieu. Bisous, je t'aime. Ouais, tu vas finir sur YouTube. Allez, non, encore. Après, Gros décolleté. Ça, ouais. Pas, ouais, allez, casse-toi. Tu vas casser ta moto. Ouais. Je vais être en retard. Ouais, allez, cours là, esclave. Ouais, ouais, raconte pas ta vie, s'il te plaît. Hein? Raconte pas ta vie. Ouais, allez, ouais, va travailler, femme. Allez, femme. Seems like that motorcycle. Wait, is this, is this French? That's the most awkward encounter. If a girl came up to me, I'd be running, bruv. There's no way I'd be entertaining that. You wanna split it? Yeah, I'll pay half, you pay half. Do we split the mortgage? Well, <laughs> do we split the car outside? No. Who pays the T-Mobile bill? Uh, you, you do. You have your cute little job, pay the cute little bill. This isn't fair. You really want me to pay for all of it? Do you them? want me to pay for everything and make investments for us and worry about our future? How about you take care of something? Ooh. I think that's only fair. This guy deserves way more than what he... I love it, I love it. I absolutely love it. You wanted a quality, pay your half, dude. Impressive how slow the progress is. Why is there so much going on but nothing going on at the same time? <laughs> Seriously, what is going on? <laughs> One Mexican would have done it already. <laughs> There was seriously so much going on in that video, but nothing being done. That was hilarious. I know the dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt in an accident. Have you ever found yourself involved in a personal injury case? As an image consultant, I meet a lot of clients who are actually recovering from all sorts of injuries, from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was actually surprised to see at how many people lose their personal injury cases, which is why I want to talk about Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injuries cases and they've won thousands of big cases and if you do end up working with them they're gonna fight for the money that you deserve just recently Morgan & Morgan solidified verdicts in Florida for 12 million dollars and 26 million dollars in Philly that's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer and I'm telling you your case could be worth millions and the best part is it's all free unless you win your case now if you've also been the victim of a personal injury or a serious accident you can visit www.forthepeople.com Levi found in the description below where you can start your free claim today Oh, we can go now. I know who's barbecuing. Oh, like summer barbecuing? Yeah, like somebody's, what the? Oh! <laughs> what the Oh hell? my goodness! How about What you? are you doing? What in the caterpillar brows are you? What? what oh, the brows. What are we doing? <laughs> Bro, you look like an angry bird. What? I'm smiling. You look like the red bird in Angry Birds. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Who did you get inspiration from? The girls on the inspiration. Please. 
It's not that bad. You look like you're mad at the world right now. Are you serious? Are you happy and you know it? No, you're not. You're mad. <laughs> you're smiling at me, but I'm still seeing a frown. What? Oh! Uh, really? <laughs> I've never seen somebody's eyebrows halfway up their forehead. Hide. But it's like an upside down Nike sign. Truly is. What though. are you talking about? That's what <laughs> Just don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> do you really want to go outside with your windshield wipers? <laughs> Girl, if it's raining, you're catching all the rain with that. <laughs> <laughs> your face is already small. And you have your eyebrows and your forehead fighting for space on your face. <laughs> She looks like a superhero. <laughs> this dude was cooking her, bro. <laughs> your your face is already, or your head is already small. Your face and your forehead are fighting for, oh, that's good. There's one thing every single man can do, and only a handful of women in the whole entire world manage to do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's true. No woman or girl that I ever met in my life managed to pull it off. Are you up for the challenge? Sure. Repeat after me. I overreacted. I was wrong. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Seems like he's... Yeah, wait, there's no way. Women cannot do that one. I overreacted. I was wrong. You're a bum. I want nothing to do with you. I'm out. Good luck finding somebody like me. Where's my card? <laughs> Good luck finding somebody like me. Seven other girls dressed just like you, look just like you. This, this is what I'm saying, bro. A lot of these women really do think they're so unique. When really you're just another fish in the sea, baby. There's so many other women like you. Donut right here. No, you're not. Not with me in the car. Dude. <laughs> Get in. Seriously? Sensational. She did. This kid. I've seen this kid. He's like a streamer. He's hilarious, bro has definitely ruined all of that where it comes to men being men men step up there was i don't know if you guys saw that article that there was uh some girl that was drowning and the guy saved her life and then he was like she was gonna sue him for touching her oh he yeah. he touched me without my consent you were under the water you were dying like he literally saved your life and she's like well for a brief moment i was grateful that i was alive this is why men don't step up because when they do the right thing Nick, could you they get crucified story? if you want better men be better women because it starts mm. with you how you act how you you carry yourself how you talk to them treat a man like a king he'll treat you like a queen that drowning story oh my goodness gracious wow yes kudos to her well can you imagine you save a girl from drowning and she's like i didn't want to be saved by you i wanted fabio to save me not you <laughs> a lot of ladies going to college to be a psychology major just to get manipulated by a <laughs> that ain't demir <laughs> That's the dumb. <laughs> That's the sad thing is he's not. <laughs> That's it, dude. I knew girls in college that were going to school for a, for a psychology degree. Bro, you can manipulate them the easiest because you you can play all the Jedi mind tricks with them. You can bring up the zodiacs and the love languages and the empathy. Like, oh, it's so good. Who would you like to go with in three, two, one? Jeremy. <laughs> Which one's wrong? Hmm? Take your blindfolds off. Hi. So, Nia, what is your decision with the blindfolds off? Jeremy is more my type. Light eyes, dark hair, and tall, that's usually my type. Yeah! It's like every girl's type in this dude kind of looks the same. Max, I feel like, is, is so sweet. Jeremy, do you want to go with Nia? Nah. I think it's a no. Oh! <laughs> Revenge is best served cool. So Jeremy, um, you want to hear why? No, She's I just not my told her I said I'm more into like the tall blondes usually. <laughs> How does it feel? Even in front of a- How does it feel, honey? The thing is, if he's good enough for you, he's good enough for a few. I don't know why women can't understand this concept. I'd like to publicly apologize to my wife for marrying a second wife <laughs> in her dreams. Oh, man. It really hurt her feelings, and I can't believe that I did such a thing like this to you in your dreams. I'm really sorry, my love. 
And I also want to apologize for yesterday. When I asked you on my way home if you need anything, and you said nothing. And uh, I actually got you nothing. I should have known to get you something, even if you said you don't want anything. Yeah, I always remember that. Please forgive me, Habibti, and I'll do better as a husband. I forget you. The sad, sad story. <laughs> Even women don't even know what they want, bro. Women don't even understand themselves. That's why they don't even want to be friends with each other most of the time. That's why women can have friends for like a week and then it's over. But like the friends that you guys chat or chat, let me know. Who's the longest friend you've got? I've got I've got friends from like middle school to this day. Cass doesn't. Women just don't. Women have a new best friend every week and men have friends for like lifetimes. It's crazy. If you could choose your partner's income, what would you like want it to be? Millions. No, not millions. I want millions. If he's making millions, he's looking somewhere else. No, 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 no. <laughs> but that's that's time to you to keep them. So you believe that if a guy is making millions, he won't be loyal? No, he, it's not going to be loyal. Would you be okay with your husband making millions, yeah. but he has like side women? I feel like if he's making millions, he won't have side women because he'll be busy making no. the million. I think the girl in white stupid. She she dumb. She don't get it. The thing is, men are only as faithful as their options. If he's got millions of dollars. More than likely, he can be going on business trips and getting him some other women, bruv. My friends gave me permission to make a Hinge account for him. And why is that? Because I was telling him how easy dating is with dating apps. And he was telling me that it's incredibly difficult. And I was like, Pete, you must be doing something wrong. And he gave me permission to create an account for him and just run the account. And how is it going so far, hard, man. being a guy on a dating app? I've been a virtual boy for three days. And I've, I've never felt this bad about myself. I feel like a freaking loser trying to get these girls to like me. And mm -hmm. I'm starting to hate women. Oh dear. It doesn't sound like it's going very well at all. But let's hear what's going on. Pete's about a six. But I'm so desperate, I'm liking the twos and the threes. And even they won't like me back, Pete, which is a six. Gee, I wonder what could be going on here. So what level of delusion has entered women's head? Heads. Like, what is going on? It is so difficult dating as a boy. I hate it. I'm on day three of being a boy, and I hate women, and I'm depre more depressed than ever. That is truly unfortunate, and I am genuinely sorry to hear that. But in my opinion, this is just a reflection of the times that we are currently living in, which mm. so many people, in this case, a great many women, are very heavily influenced every single day by what they see on social media. That they are absolutely convinced that they all should be going for the same group of men. The ones that are considered to be tens by most of society and unfortunately they are missing out on a lot of great opportunities because just because a guy doesn't look like a 10 doesn't mean that he might not be an actual 10 in regards to what type of person he is and his personality this is what lady j always preaching but dude regular schmegular women have the same poll as celebrity men just like think about that a girl can get online Post like a little thirst trap, and dudes will flood her DMs like Noah's Ark just got built. But as a man, to get that level of attention, bro, you have to be a straight up actor, 10, six pack abs, you have to be famous. Like, it, ugh, it's crazy. It's wild. Can I in your face? <laughs> Can I in your face? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, do you guys sell toothpaste? <laughs> just over there? <laughs> Nah, she really was. Boy. <laughs> I think she was down, though. Probably should have shot a shot there. Hey, you are, you're like an object, but you're also a living thing. <laughs> Am I a woman? <laughs> <laughs> she said it, not me. <laughs> she said that laughing and with a smile. <laughs> My woman. <laughs> Occurring problem in a relationship. The reason that problem is there is because someone has been betrayed in some way. Now, Dante put betrayers at the lowest level of hell, and that's pretty damn accurate. It's like, well, why don't you trust men? Well, maybe you're a woman who never had a positive experience with a man in your whole goddamn life. That's increasingly common. All the men you knew were absent or worse exploiters. How do you best work on those issues to fix them? Well, in my marriage, I indicated to her that if we were going to be together, we were going to tell each other the truth. It's hard for me to delve into underlying problems, but what I like even less is having those problems continue. People have all sorts of ways of putting up resistances to 
that kind of inquiry too, going into their past, accuse you. You have to have faith in the motives for your inquiry because maybe you are just being a cruel son of a So how can you trust yourself? Well, don't lie. It's like you want to trust yourself in a difficult negotiation. You better bloody well be sure that your orientation is upward. So that's why you have to have an orientation towards the truth. Basically, he's saying the truth will always set you free, but in a more proper... And uh, the truth will set you free sometimes in relationships, but not with situation shifts. Boy, you better not be telling the truth all the time, man, because girls will use that truth and they will arm it. They will cock it in a gun and be ready to use it as ammo one day. So you got to, I don't know, you got to be careful. But I believe with uh, Jordan Peterson on this one, like with a meaningful adult, mature relationship, someone you're dating or even married to, yes, the truth is, is the best. It looks like it would be soft. Can I run my fingers through it? Um, yeah, you want. <laughs> Emotional damage. <laughs> Hit her with the dirty Sanchez. Ooh. That is brutal. Men hate hearing from women. Like, they will make him shut down like a Windows 98 computer. One, we need to talk. Ooh, I hate that you one. just ruined his whole day, bro. Two, I'm just still trying to figure out who I am. Oh, we know me... what that means. She's a runner, she's a track star. Let me tell you, non committal and indecisive. Bye. Three, real men, and then mm. description of whatever it is that will benefit her at that time. Same with be a man. Y'all would eviscerate him if he told you to be a woman. Four, after telling him you're not hungry. Can I have some? Five, I had a dream you, and then you describe something he would literally never do, but now has to answer for. Six, if you're broke, just say that. I broke, just say that. You first. Seven, I just think it's funny how, and then you start describing something that you definitely do not think is funny, nor is in Oof. any way funny to anybody, and yet- Bro, she hit the nail on the head. He knows he's in danger. Eight, I was thinking we could, do he already knows that you don't mean we. You mean him. You want him to do a chore around the house. Nine, you don't even care. This would be a lot easier for guys to empathize with if it wasn't majoritively said in response to her not getting her way. And 10, fine, I don't care. Just do whatever you want. Just know that if you ever say that to a man, you better mean that with your whole chest because he will take you up on that. If you want to ring the death knell of your own relationship, that's the phrase to do it. Remember, just because guys prefer sticks and stones doesn't mean words don't matter. No man. Well, this, women communicate like children, bruv. They just communicate like children. <laughs> that's why I say women grow old, they never grow up, man. They really don't. I had no ambition and I was working on teaching him that and he still give me credit to this day on that. I just didn't have it in me to try to teach him that and then work on the ambition I was on because it was at a Is this woman wearing a dress and a flat bill? Who dressed you? Level, if that makes sense. You didn't have it in you to help this man through something that he was weak at. I don't got time for that. I could just focus on myself. So you have hardships. Your man was there for you, but when he had a hardship with something, you, you walked out on him. Don't worry about it. Dun, 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 dun. It's super. Uh, these women want a Jesus. They want a that's perfect. Unperfect creatures want a perfect. They want a super. You gotta be able to fly and, and scale buildings in single bound. They want a super. But I ain't seen a super drown him, mother. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. If I held you down through your job or your problem or your drinking problem or the fact that you ain't had goddamn custody of your kids i'm not talking about you i'm talking about you as an ideology then you should goddamn hold me down when i got going on but see women be so quick to goddamn leave when he on his way up and they don't realize that five years ten years from now that that was the janitor gonna end up owning the building because guess what i was the janitor and i own this mother they want a superman yet they walk by clark kent every day wow i mean truly is sad he he held her down but then when hardships, but that's, yeah, that's modern women. That's why modern women wait at the finish line to pick the winners, bro. Fellas, stop being free food. Take her to a museum. Ladies love bringing up the past. He isn't wrong. <laughs> that's why I say get a woman a gold plunger because she likes bringing up old shit. <laughs> I'm going to get you a golden plunger, honey, because I know you like bringing up old crap. You really, really do. The biggest red flag with you was when you made me do an internet speed test before you even came over to my house. Now look at this. You have this whole, <laughs> who walks into a girl off Tinder's house with two gaming PCs? That's psychotic. It's the same PC, it's just two monitors, bro. What? Instead of being glad he feels comfortable. <laughs> it's the same PC, it's just two monitors, bro. <laughs> this man brought over the PC. 
PC to game. The dedication, bruv. Men can do anything that men can do. Prove me wrong. Hey, I'm kind of hungry. Do you maybe want to go grab some food? Sure, that sounds good to me. Okay. Is there anything in particular that you would like to eat, or are you open to various options? I'm open to whatever. I really don't care what we eat. So when you say you're open to anything, does that mean that I could pick literally any restaurant and you'll be okay with eating there? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Cool. Hey, I like your shoes. Oh, thanks. Wait, is that a backhanded compliment or is that really a compliment? No, I think they're cool. So it's a real compliment. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Hey, so we gotta leave in five minutes or we're going to be late. We're not gonna be late. I'm ready to go right now. Oh, you're ready on time? Okay, cool. Wait, do you mean that you're ready, but you're gonna do something really quick before we leave that then makes us like 15 minutes late? No, when I say I'm ready, I mean that I'm ready to go right now. Like I'm, I'm about to walk out the door and leave. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this man's cooking though. This man is cooking, bro. That's all. Pick the Applebee's, just get something to eat, and that's it. That's all we gotta You're do. You're recording me. I don't yeah, have an Applebee's to eat, because we don't gotta, this is Applebee's, I can't pay Friday. No, do I look like an Applebee's type person? And I'm not yes. saying, I'm not saying you look like Applebee's, no. I'm, I'm just saying, let's go to Applebee's right you here. You look more like Chili's. Shots fired! Chili's, baby, back ribs. And let's go get something to eat. No. And then Friday, and then Friday, we be good Friday. Friday, we can go to Friday's? Fr we be good Friday to go to get something else to eat that's better, so but right now. Wait till Friday. I want, I want to take y'all something to do no, now. I want to take y'all no. now. Okay, well, you can go eat. Come on, let's go. Let's no, go I don't want to go. Let's go, go eat. Let's go. No. You, you, so you, you so... enjoy your two for 20. I'm not a big bag, big bag. Two for 20 type of girl. Do you see me? I know, but I'm saying, I'm I not know, saying, but I'm but saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm just saying, let's go to Alfred. No. We're already here. No. We're already here. No. I want some Ocean Prime, some Papa Dogs. Oh, do we have to wait another day? I don't got the. Okay, then, so what you have me get dressed for? I want to take you out to eat, like, man. This is oh, like, man. No, you have Come to on, you're ready. Like, now you're standing up. Now let's go. I don't want to go. I'm going to watch you go. She and really thinks she is all that. Honey, you're mid at best. You tell me how it was. Oh, see, Friday. We got to do it Friday then. Friday. Damn, man. I was going to say, just get something to eat. If she's too good for Applebee's. Bro, if she's too good for. Bro, I still take Cast of McDonald's sometimes. <laughs> she loves it. Get her a little double cheeseburger plain, six McNuggets, sweet and sour sauce, medium fry, and a large Coke. That's her order right there. Chat, let me know. What's your McDonald's order? I've never asked you guys this. What's your McDonald's order? Personally, for me, double quarter pounder with cheese, large fry, and either the Sprite or the Coke. That Sprite be tasting like it's unleaded. <laughs> be tasting like they got jet fuel in that sucker. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.